All right, um, tonight I am trying something different. I am trying a, uh, it's just me, the microphone, the camera, um, no code. Uh, tonight I just kind of want to talk about tools and, um, yeah. So back in high school, I had this, um, my AP Gov teacher, you know, I'm from Southern Ohio and he was a good old Appalachia boy. He loved talking about woodworking, and he uh, he'd always talk about like techniques and shit. And he hated power tools. He'd go off about how you know all these um, youngsters go out and buy uh, like these thousand dollar power tools, and then they just sit in the garage collect dust since they don't know how to use them. And he always said that a good uh. A good craftsman, uh, he builds his own tools. He basically learns how to use tools by building them. You know, all the, like his handles are um, custom, and he uh, makes his own tool chest out of like walnut or some. And how, you know, that's like the s- sign of a skilled craftsman is the be- ability to make your own tools. And I think we can. Um, really learn something from that and apply it to like our other like other areas of craft like um you know I'm really into software and currently I am working on a project to build my own tool chain you know um I made a video of a uh, of it last night it's just my tool chain uh assembler linker uh made a disassembler earlier in the week too and I really learned a lot. I learned a lot about assembly. Um, learned a lot how the linking process works, how uh, code is loaded into memory and stuff like that. And that can really be applied to like other areas of crafts. So, like when you have to make your own tools, you have to know all the little intricacies and nuances that go into those tools and why those tools are important and like all the underlying concepts. Uh, like for example um, if you're like a guitarist and you make your own guitar like I don't know how to play the guitar but I imagine those guys like they have like this very what's the word intimate relationship with the strings like they have to know like how hard you gotta press it or strung it or whatever and like they know like their hands just it's in their bones it's like I just gotta like do this motion to get this sound. Um, I imagine that's what guitars are like anyway. And like to build your own guitar, like you know, make the body. Um, have to think about like how the sound will reverberate through the uh, wood. Uh, you know, pickups, strings. You really have to like have a deep understanding of how guitars work to build one. And but um. All the guys who do build their own guitars, like, I don't know how you can be a bad guitarist and build a guitar, like a good guitar. Um, and that's, I've really been applying that to uh, my work in software. It's like, to, in my opinion, be a good software engineer, you have to, like, really know the underlying concepts, even if you don't, like, immediately, immediately apply them. Like, uh, a lot of CS students love to complain about assembly. I'm not a CS student, but all those kids loved like, I hate assembly, never gonna use this shit. And like, I get that in the modern world of like JavaScript and all that shit, it's like, yeah, you're probably not gonna use assembly. But to know assembly is to really like understand how computers run you know and I think we're losing that um a lot of engineers it's like like they go out to work for these companies and the company was like yeah we use these frameworks we use these IDEs blah 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 we use these libraries and they're kind of like limited to the company's own set of tools and the company 
they're not looking for good engineers they're looking for people who know how to use those specific tools themselves you know if you've ever seen like a job app uh job application for that it's like do you have experience with um these uh ides or whatever and like i i get that makes sense from like a corporation like a corporate perspective but and like if you think of engineers as like just components of a corporation that makes sense but if you think of engineers as like artists and craftsmen uh, it's completely different like a craftsman has a very intimate connection with his tools uh, like everyone tells me like yeah you don't need to be digging into assembly and doing all that low level shit just like like we figured that out in the 80s like just kind of like stick to the modern uh, stuff but the problem is like all the GNU tools are like from the 80s and I think to be a good engineer you need to dig deep and people who say like just stick to the surface level stuff I think are just intimidated to go deeper um, they're just afraid of those really fundamental concepts but I think that's what really defines us is like and not just from an engineering perspective like if you're like an artist like a painter a musician whatever any type of craft any like to master any craft you have to become very intimate with the details so like ignore what those people say like oh you're reinventing the wheel you're wasting time it is never a waste of time to deepen your understanding uh i think yeah people just we're not we're not training craftsmen anymore we're training employees we're like engineers are no longer the great craftsmen they were they're just kind of go out into these companies and they just learn like the bare minimum to be an employee they don't want to become a master of their craft and i just i don't like that direction i think building your own tools uh, to get back to the main topic to build your own tools is to really challenge yourself like like the woodworking thing it's like why would you have tools that you don't know how to use um when you build your own tools you know exactly how they work and um i think regardless if you're an artist an engineer or whatever it's like you can't like building your own tools is the best way to learn how to use them 